What's up guys, welcome to another Sports News for Dummies video and today we're going to get into some more free agency and NBA trades. You know, first up we have Gordon Hayward is signing a four year $120 million deal with the Charlotte Hornets. Um, earlier in the week Gordon Hayward opted out of his contract. Big question was where is he going and he has just confirmed that he will be going to Charlotte. So a uh, big pickup for Charlotte. Uh, Gordon Hayward isn't the player he was before the injury against Cleveland a couple years ago, but he's still a solid player. Um, he must not like what his uh, role was on Boston anymore, so he will be joining the Charlotte Hornets. Next, we have Fred Van Vliet has agreed to a four-year, $85 million deal to re-sign with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, going ahead and bring back a 17-point-per-game score is not too bad for the Toronto Raptors. He's a great role player, uh, great shooter. So he will be a ginormous piece for the upcoming years for the Toronto Raptors. Next, we have free agent guard Rajon Rondo has agreed to a two-year, $15 million contract with the Atlanta Hawks. This is a big pickup for the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Rajon Rondo was a huge piece to the Lakers championship this year. So having another guard like Rajon Rondo to team up with Trey Young in Atlanta is huge for the Atlanta Hawks. Next, we have Contavious Codwell Pope has agreed to a three-year, $40 million deal to stay with the Lakers. This is a good pickup for the Lakers uh, to keep Codwell Pope. He averaged about nine points for them last year. And he even picked up his game even more for that title run. So keeping a good solid role player like Codwell Pope is big move by the Lakers. All right. Avery Bradley has agreed to a two-year $11.6 million deal with the Miami Heat. Now this is a great, great pickup for the Miami Heat. I like Avery Bradley's game. He was a big piece in the Lakers last season. He didn't join them in the bubble for the title run, but... In the regular season, he was probably the consistent best, third best player on the Lakers team. So, good pickup for the Miami Heat. Next, we have my man, free agent, Carmelo Anthony in the building. He is finalizing a deal to re-sign with the Portland Trailblazers. It's great for both parties. Carmelo gets to stay in the league. I love Melo. Um, he did great for Trailblazers last year. And uh, I don't think they could go wrong with re-signing him. I think he fits great with uh, Dame and McCollum and everybody. So, uh... Great news for Melo, great news for the Portland Trailblazers. Next, we have some pretty big news coming from the Phoenix Suns. Free agent Jay Crowder has agreed to a three-year deal with the Phoenix Suns. Now, I think this meme right below this tweet says it all. Booker, CP3, Jay Crowder, and DeAndre Ayton. The Suns are going to be dangerous in the West. I mean, I don't think they're going to be title contenders, but they are, I think, at a lock to be a playoff team. They are looking very strong for next season. Good pickup from the Phoenix Suns. So some pretty big news coming out of Cleveland. Uh, free agent Tristan Thompson reached an agreement with the Celtics. Um, I can see why he left Cleveland. Uh, Andre Drummond stayed with Cleveland. So it makes sense for Thompson to get out of there. He probably didn't want to lose his starting spot. Um, I don't know if he, he will start in uh, Boston. But uh, with Ennis Cantor being gone, Cantor heading back to Portland, I think this is a great pickup from the Celtics. Tristan Thompson has the ability to be a very solid starting center or backup center regardless. So a pretty good pickup for the Celtics. Next up, we have free agent Paul Millsap has agreed to a one-year deal, $10 million dollars. To return to the Denver Nuggets now, I didn't really personally like Paul Millsap's play in the playoffs last year. I thought his shooting was not great, but uh, overall he's a decent player. So having him back in Denver is not a bad thing. So uh, Paul Millsap back to Denver. Last, we have free agent DJ Augustine has agreed to a three-year deal, $21 million to sign with the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, I like this pickup from Milwaukee. DJ Augustine is a solid point guard. I would assume he's going to be a solid backup point guard because they do have Drew Holiday. But uh like this pickup from Milwaukee. 
If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.